what's up guys and welcome back to my channel this week my name is Priscilla. i am a nigerian women's wear designer based in london in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a raglan sleeve and matching raglan body this is something that i created using my basic bodice pattern if you haven't seen those already i have a separate tutorial showing you how to make a basic bodice as well as a basic sleeve and i go on to develop those patterns to make a raglan sleeve and there are a bunch of variety of raglan sleeves in this one i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple raglan sleeve that cuts from the center from sort of the front neckline down to underneath the front armhole so i show how to do that for the front and for the back as well make sure to watch up until the end because this tutorial was a learning curve for me i ended up testing the pattern towards the end of the video and corrected some of my own mistakes so if you already subscribed already make sure to subscribe down below because you'll be the very first to know whenever i have new videos up on the channel every single week if you'd like to see more pattern tutorials make sure to give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's jump straight into this video I'm going to be using my usual pattern tools to make this raglan sleeve and bodice. I'm going to be needing my basic sleeve block, my basic bodice front and back because we're going to be changing those up to make our raglan sleeve. I also need my permanent marker, paper scissors as well as some cellar tape. I'm also going to be needing some pattern paper which I'm going to be linking down below for anyone that's curious. I need my pattern master and my set square to help me with those difficult curved and straight lines i also got myself some fabric just to test the pattern paper and i do and i got two contrasting colors so you can see the difference between the sleeve and the bodice the first thing you need to do is to duplicate your blocks because you don't want to mess up with your original block so i've made duplicates of my front and back bodies and added a one centimeter seam allowance so this gives me leeway to join things together when it's time to test the pattern so i did that for the front for the back as well as the sleeve the sleeve i dropped the sleeve head by about three centimeters because the original sleeve head is quite high meaning it has a lot of ease that you have to gather back into the sleeve and i, I don't just want that headache right now so the first step you need to do is to plan the front bodice curve for the raglan. So I'm just going in here along the front neckline and I'm dropping it by about 5 centimeters down the that front neckline curve. And I'm just making sure that the notch on the front armhole is clear because we're going to be connecting that 5 centimeter drop to the notch on the front arm curve. And I'm just going out here to ensure that it comes out of the seam allowance like so using my pattern master i'm also going to be adding one notch connecting the top and the bottom because we're going to be cutting this top piece from the bottom so i'm adding my grain line and indicating that this is the front because we're going to be repeating the same thing with the back so i'm just going in here and i'm cutting along that curved line using my paper scissors and i'm going to put this to the side and go on and work on the back so for the back we're going to repeat a similar step i'm going to mark three centimeters down the back neckline and we're going to be connecting that three cm point to the first notch along the back arm curve like so because raglan sleeves usually have that curved seam on the front and on the back as well once that is done i'm going to go in and add two notches so i can tell apart the back from the front and just like what we did for the front part i'm going to add a green line and indicate that this is the back as well as add a notch on that outside of the back arm curve so i'm going back in and i'm cutting along the curved line for the back and i'm just cutting straight ahead because we're going to be changing these patterns later on so i've grabbed my duplicated sleeve and i'm taking the front top piece that we cut off and we're going to be joining it along this side so this is the top back and you know it's the back because it has two notches and i'm just joining it in such a way that the lines which is the seam lines they match so they match at the shoulder and then they match along the the sleeve head curve like so so i'm going to arrange it in such a way that it sits like this and the shoulder point is pointing upwards that curve is on this side towards the bottom of the screen and the lines are joined together using tape so i'm going to repeat the same for the front and the front i've turned 
one the other way around because you want to be able to connect the front top to the front of the sleeve like so this would make complete sense when we sew this all together but just please stay with me so i've gotten myself some more tape and i've taped down those panels onto the sleeve like so and this is what it looks like the idea is you've taken that top piece from the front and the back and you've taped it onto the sleeve meaning you've automatically made the sleeve bigger in such a way that it covers the top shoulder and that is what becomes our raglan sleeve so because we cut it out in such a way that there is no seam allowance i'm going in here and i'm adding extra pattern paper so i can add a one centimeter seam allowance along this side which would be joined to the body so this particular side here is the back and then the other side towards the top of the screen is the front so once you've added extra paper and you've drawn in that one centimeter seam allowance i'm just going in to cut out the extra pattern paper that i don't need so we have a full raglan sleeve you can decide to work with it as it is now but i went on ahead and i traced it onto fresh pattern paper so it looks nice and neat in case you want to give this to another designer or you want to give it to a client so this is the raglan sleeve as you can see the longer side is the back and the more curved side is the front i also traced off the front and back bodies onto fresh pattern paper and added one centimeter seam allowance along the curved side in the front and the back because you want to be able to join the sleeve onto the special raglan bodies now moving on to pattern testing i have gone ahead and i've cut out the front back and the sleeve just for one half so we can test to see if the pattern works and if we need to make any corrections so i just cut half of the front half of the back and just one sleeve if you need to make a full top you need to cut the front and the back on the fold so you have one piece for the front and one piece for the back i need to cut two sleeves one for the left and one for the right hand side so i'm just working with my crusty old first pattern here because i want to keep the new one nice and fresh and i'm going to grab a pin and what you want to do is you want to puncture through the point where the sleeve and the two tops for the front and the back meet because that is where your seam is going to stop so i'm just going in here to mark that with a marker pen you want to do this with chalk in your real fabric so you don't have that dot showing on the sleeve so once that is done i'm just joining together that opening like so and i'm holding it together using a pin and what you want to ensure is that the front and the back sides here are stitched together in such a way that the stitch begins at the top and it finishes off exactly at that dot you kind of finish off into nothing so when you open up the sleeve it's nice and sort of rounded along the shoulder so i'm just sewing here on a one centimeter seam allowance using a normal straight stitch because this is just to test out our pattern to see if it works so this is what the sleeve looks like you want to go ahead and give it a nice press you can see mine has a point which means i didn't really finish off into nothing you want to finish off into nothing as much as possible so you don't have any edges so now i'm just going in and i'm pinning on my back bodies for the raglan onto the back side of the sleeve thankfully we have those notches to tell us which side is the front and which side is the back so I'm just going in here and adding more pins and I'm going to repeat the same thing for the front. So I'm going to grab my front bodice and I'm going to pin it along the front side of the sleeve matching on my notch matching the beginning and the end points so once i grab this entire piece like this and take it to my machine to sew i know i just need to sew on a one centimeter seam allowance from the beginning all the way to the end so i'm taking this to my domestic machine it is a brother ls14 so many of you have asked and i'll try and link it down below for anyone that is actually curious it's a great machine and is not that expensive to buy so i'm just sewing up here up until the end and this is what the uh, bodice and sleeves sewn up should look like so i'm just folding this in such a way that i have my seam side seam allowances aligned for the bodice as well as for the sleeve so i'm just going in here and i'm adding more pins to hold the side seam of the bodice but as we approach the sleeve you can see there is a about one inch 
gaping happening here and that is not meant to be if you ever experience that the sleeve and the bodice need to finish off at the same point because when you stitch it up like that and it's time to sew up the side seam you're going to have a point along the sleeve that isn't that isn't right so i went back into my pattern and i fixed it in such a way that when i was creating that curve for the front and for the back i ended it at the bottom of the armhole so when you sew the sleeve onto the bodice last you can see on the right hand side they finish off at exactly the same point i just wanted to make this clear for anyone who would want to try out this pattern and experience this kind of difficulty or confusion so now that we fixed up the pattern i went ahead and I redid my sort of test and I pinned it up and I'm sewing it up on the side the bodice the sleeve as well using one continuous normal straight stitch on a one centimeter seam allowance so by the time you join up the entire side of the bodice into the sleeve you have your raglan bodice and sleeve complete so this is what the sample looks like it's something that would look really cool during the fall this design would look really nice with um sort of sweatshirt material whether it's for male or for female, I think it would really work. Just ensure that you start off with a body that is your size or your client's size. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video all the same. I was a bit apprehensive to put it up because of the mistake I had to like go back and correct. But I hope someone learns from the mistake I made and tries it out for themselves in the future. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment all of your questions, suggestions and ideas down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.